air signs Gemini, Libra and Aquarius welcome to my channel this is Chelsea thank you so much for liking and subscribing I really appreciate your love and support today is the 18th of May and this is the second part of your reading for today and also I'm in France so keep in mind the different time zone and this reading we are going to find out who you'll be who will you be in your next serious relationship with? Please bear in mind that this is a general reading and may not resonate with each and every one of you. All right, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, let's get a reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me. Who will Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius be in your next serious relationship with? Wow, Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Funny, this card came out in all three readings, Air Signs, Earth Signs, and Fire Signs. So, good for you guys. <laughs> this person is going to be either your true love or somebody who has a big heart, a heart of gold, or somebody very sincere, or that this will be a very beautiful and romantic love beginning, new love beginning. Okay, and... Uh, some of you maybe you have already met this person could be an ex also reconciling or it could be someone you are currently connecting with also it can be someone you have not met at all okay it could be uh, somebody completely new so as i go along with this message you will know where it applies uh who this person is if you completely don't resonate that means this could be somebody coming into your life that is a completely stranger to you okay so we've got the four of cups here the lovers and the two of wands in reverse yeah okay so <laughs> funny so uh when both of you meet each other one of you will be so into the other okay you will either be very into the, this person this person will be very into you but the other person is like uh, i'm not too sure with the four of cups here okay but eventually ace of wands is here that means eventually both of you will start something i feel like both of you are going to be very hot and heavy uh, very attracted to each other or eventually yeah, because one of them one of you will not be that attracted in the beginning or just not open to being in a relationship or being close to somebody but then eventually both of you will start something new so ace of wands indicates you know the first thing would be more like attraction chemistry uh, both of you may have a lot of chemistry with each other and i feel like your connection will grow right and this is also somebody quite attractive and for some of you you may think that maybe this person is too attractive to be true too attractive and to a point where how can they be uh how can they be loyal to me when they're this attractive that's what i'm getting here or it could be the other person watching seeing you thinking you're so attractive and wondering if you would be you know why would you be attracted to them or why would you uh, be faithful to them if both of you get into a relationship so we've got the ten of pentacles here in the reverse and also we've got the hierophant so the hierophant is actually pretty good it means maybe both of you will end up getting married yeah your next serious relationship again this may be someone you have already known it could be an ex returning or could be somebody completely new however we've got two tens here one ten of pentacles one ten of cups both are in reverse <laughs> okay so this could mean several things either this person came from um a broken home or they could be a divorcee or that this person may be an an adopted child it could indicate that or this can mean both of you were in a relationship with in the past or in a past lifetime okay so the king of pentacles here in reverse indicates virgo capcom taurus this person may be of that sign can be any sign can be a sag as well it can be a pisces cancer or a scorpio and we've got the moon here in reverse um i'm also sensing with the heart fun and the moon here in reverse this is somebody whom has been through a lot in your life i feel like they're going to come they're going to be very honest with you they'll tell you the truth um i feel like they have nothing to hide they may not be one thing i'm seeing here is that they may not be that financially sound yep they're very charming but they're not financially sound they could also be somebody very spiritual 
the hierophant can indicate feel like it's it's not just the hierophant, yeah, it's like the rest of the cards surrounding it. It changes the the meaning of you know the reading. Um, a lot of people think, oh, one card has to mean this and that and that. No, and it's rigid like that. It's not true. I mean, if you want to read <laughs> properly, uh, it's not just one card. It's the surrounding cards, the combination, and how the cards interact with each other. So I feel like this is somebody who could be very spiritual, very inspiring, but also can be quite religious, okay? Because the Hierophant, either religious or spiritual, um, a good person, right? So this person is going to inspire you. They have this very magnetic way of either speaking or the way they, they talk to you, the way they look at you, the way they react to you or respond to you whenever both of you speak with each, each other. But it's like this is this person may have money, okay? Either they have money but they don't talk about it at all um, or they prefer to be... Uh, low profile person they don't want to show off about you know how much money they have or they could be somebody who doesn't play importance like to them money is not important or material things are not important this can be somebody very rich but material things are not important to them or that they can literally be not so financially sound that's because to them it's really not the most important thing in the world because this is somebody again very spiritual right or very religious in some way, shape, or form. Just a really good person. Um, or they like to attend all of these, I don't know, the spiritual groups or community. They like to do yoga, meditation. That's definitely what I'm seeing right now. <laughs> um, hmm. If they come from a very rich family, I sense this is somebody who refuses to take money from their family okay they would prefer to do something on their own and also they're not again materialistic so we've got the ace of cups the death card here and the six of wands in my first this is somebody who has failed before one time in their life failed or may have like a brush i've said this before in one of these readings like death card can indicate maybe they have transformed because of something a big impact that has happened to them in their life either that they almost literally died from something from illness or accident but obviously they didn't die so <laughs> obviously they didn't die and that's why you are in or that you will be in a serious relationship with this person right so it feels like the death card indicates some sort of transformation it could be a transformation due to spiritual reasons or you know a brush of a brush with death or something a significant thing uh, that has happened to their life that has changed them from the person before to now is like completely different right six of wands here my birth uh, remember I was telling you like this person is not materialistic they even have money some of them they may even do a lot of charity give their money away uh, and needed this some needed some time to you know learn about themselves learn about the universe learn about God everything right I feel like they have a lot of questions so they may have given up on a certain status in their life or just given up their past behavior the past behavior you know six of wands can indicate maybe this is somebody who liked attention liked being popular or was actually a popular person uh, or like to party all of those uh, stuff <laughs> but I feel like they are changing or that they have changed yeah, they have changed to becoming somebody who is like, no, I am not going to be the same person again. So something I feel like they are giving up on or have given up on to become the person uh, they are now. And Ace of Cups is like a newfound thing, newfound love for something. Perhaps it's them understanding love in a much deeper level and also could be them starting to love themselves more. Um, they may have given up on certain habits, bad habits, or certain wants and needs from the past that could be material things and uh, that they used to play, um, pay a lot of importance. 
in, they no longer do. So we've got the Nine of Pentacles here in the first two of cups and the Queen of Cups. Okay, this person may be a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. We've got the Eight of Swords here as well. This person has been thinking a lot. It's somebody whom is definitely a thinker, right? So that means this is somebody very conscientious. So um, they want to make sure these days, whatever they do, their conscience are their conscience is clear. And the Nine of Pentacles, again, in love for See, this is someone either they are not financially sound or not financially stable. All that. This is somebody who doesn't, you know, uh, care about money or somebody who is not materialistic because with a higher fund here, just doing right by people, uh, they could also, again, be doing a lot of charity. So for them, it's money is not everything. Money is not the most important thing in the world. So I would say they are somebody very sincere, sincere, very kind, or that they have changed to becoming somebody very sincere, very kind. And with the Two of Cups, your Two of Cups also, uh, it appeared three times already. So with all the rest of the signs, Air signs, Gemini, uh, sorry, air earth and fire all have these two of cups so these two of cups two of cups indicates maybe this is somebody you are if you didn't see eye to eye with you're gonna see eye to eye with now you're gonna, both of you are on the same page or will be on the same page if both of you are not both of you will agree to something and put an end to something in the past death card here and then come together as a pair of lovers all right, Gemini Divine Aquarius, this is your reading. Hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to leave you with my latest video on the screen right now. This video is from my second travel vlog channel. It's a cooking video from, yeah, my second channel. I just got kind of bored and I thought maybe you guys would like to see me cook. <laughs> but I don't really show, I, don't, I didn't show my face on uh, this video. It was like kind of like an impulsive re uh, recording. But anyway, um, also I'll leave you with a playlist on the screen. This playlist has all of the readings that I've done for you for the rest of the signs for, uh, for different, with different topics, different questions. But they are still new, they are still valid. As you guys know, I post new videos almost every single day, so don't let it go to waste. Just click on it. It says bonus compilation readings. Just click on it, scroll all the way down, look for your sign. And also, I am open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Take care. Bye.